Well, Grace Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the time, huh? Ba-ding. Dude. Yeah. You Brett Farver? I'm sorry, who? Brett Favre? Yeah, Brett Favre. Favre. Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Favre. It's spelled like it's Favre. Weird. What is he? Is he like, uh, like... French or something? Oh, like his nationality? Yeah. I have no idea. I don't have a phone. But, uh, but yeah, did you hear about what he did? He was did some really nice stuff for rich guys to do. Who, did he like unretire or something? No, they, uh, they found out that he got, I think it was $1 million okay. from reallocated welfare funds to build a volleyball court at his alma mater that his daughter went to and they have text messages where at one point he's like, can you, well, something like, can you, are you sure no one in the media can find out about this or whatever? And then, uh, and then, or can't sure nobody can trace this back or find it or whatever. And yeah, that's, so yeah, it's pretty incredible. So he's like rich as hell football player. And he stole money from like the poorest of the poor in Mississippi w- with some other nonprofit to build a volleyball court for his daughter, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I, I mean, I'm, I'm getting what you're saying. So, Brett Favre took money from a, what, what, what was the fund? I think the lady worked, it was like, this lady worked through like a nonprofit. Uh-huh. And, and uh, but it was, the money that it was, was welfare. It was like reallocated welfare funds or something. Okay. So, so it was just basically money taken away from like. The most needy people yeah. in the state, and he did it to build a volleyball. volleyball, at volleyball. The, his yeah. daughter's currently going to the school. Yes, she's on the team. But doesn't he? Doesn't he just have the money to do it himself? Yeah, or he could probably could have found investors, or he probably could have found other stuff. But he'd rather steal money from the poor. I'm sure. Wasn't he just like selling Rogaine or whatever the hell it was? No, the- he was selling those copper bound sleeves. Oh my freaking! God, He's like, dude. put on the compression sleeve with copper. Yeah, was in he it. selling? It healed Brett Farver. Yeah, I've heard that those sleeves increase vibes, honestly. So I'm pretty sure if you're looking for like better vibes. If you get one of those Oh, sleeves. if I need my vibe to vibe? Yeah, you need more of them. Yes, you need oh, more I vibes. Need more vibe. It increases the vibrations. Yeah, uh, I need some for my elbows. I'm going to yeah, get I don't know, man. Like I know football players make a lot of money, and I know Brett Favre has done some, you know, but he didn't have like a shoe. He didn't have a what? Man, Brett Favre didn't have a shoe. Do football players get shoes? Shoes? No, dude, that they they play in cleats. They don't get shoe deals? No, cuz the, the NBA players use their shoes on the court. Football players use cleats. They can't have like the Brett Favre cleat where they can sell to high school Could, kids. <laughs> couldn't they have like designer cleats without the cleats and then sell those to the kids? I don't know. Walk I feel around like someone them? would have done it already. No one wants to wear a Brett Favre shoe. So they just do jerseys then, huh? Yeah. And yeah. NFL jerseys are the most popular because they're actual yeah. shirts and you can yeah. wear them anywhere. And yeah. you can't wear a tank top <laughs> like from the NBA. That is so true, honestly. And it, honestly, nowadays it looks kind of it looks kind of sloppy to go around walking an NBA tank top. Yeah, or in baseball jerseys are weird too. You look like, you look weird in a baseball jersey. I like baseball jerseys though. Like, I don't know. I just Depending. think like football jerseys fit the average layman the best. That's the other true. two look weird. I guess I've never really thought about it. Do baseball players get shoe deals? No. Do hockey but they players get paid get like two hundred million dollars. Do hockey players get shoe deals? What, what, what was a Gretzky? The Adidas Gretzky. Which sport is the most popular? Which sport is the best sport to get into for selling merch? For this is what I wanted. Is the NBA. For shoes, it's the NBA, but they do they do sell jerseys. NBA jerseys uh, sell. NFL for jerseys, I think, is the most lucrative because people buy that ish like crazy. What do hockey players sell? I don't know. Jerseys just, six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't like the way you're treating the hockey community out there. <laughs> I don't right like now. hockey, dude. <laughs> Hockey's fun. Now, I don't know what uh what, they don't what kind of swag them. they have. Like I don't know, autograph pucks probably because it's the smallest piece of equipment they can. They can't. No, no, People I feel like have 30 sticks on the wall. <laughs> I definitely feel like hockey jerseys, so. Yeah, I had a hockey jersey. I won it. See? Yeah, actually. Steel Hounds? Yeah, dude. It was a Steel Hounds? 
I were, were you at that game we went to? Yeah, yeah. I was. I was the reason we got the tickets because my work had a whole season ticket set because we furnished the uh, furnished the uh, team's apartments. Yo, you remember what was the kid's name? I was making fun of. Maybe he's listening, Jonas. Yeah, dude. Was it Adams or something? I feel sure. like. I feel like it was. I have Adam. no idea. I I, I was heckling some, some poor kid about that. What's that? I probably have information about that game somewhere. Probably. I was heckling that poor kid like the entire game, dude. He was in his twenties though, so it's yeah, not, he wasn't like a kid, kid, kid. Yeah, but uh, no, that that uh, I won a dude. I'm so lucky at winning like contests like that. Like I I called in on a AM radio station and won this thing to go to this like thing before a game. Got like two free tickets to the game. Got to go to this thing before where they had like some food and stuff. You got to meet the host of the radio show or whatever. But whatever, me and Everett went and they had a, a thing and there was three winners. There was three prizes. One was like a trip to Columbus to go to an NHL game. Mm -hmm. Second prize was an authentic hockey jersey from the team. And right. I, I won the second prize out of everybody there. There was like 100 and... 100 people probably and maybe more. Did you have to like answer a question no, or something? No, they just pulled our names. Oh, it was just like random. Yeah, thing. yeah, but I, I, so I got that hockey jersey, and it was like it was a nice quality jersey. I mean, the team folded because it was it was a bad choice for the city, but that's besides the point. I feel like I've never won anything in my life, man. I seriously do. I feel like I've never won anything. I can't name like a time where there's been like a drawing and I was the person who won. The only time I ever won is I caught the garter at a wedding one time because I was just the tallest person there. And I, oh. had, and I had the most ups. <laughs> one time never I won. won a guess how many jelly beans in the jar jar. This is what I'm talking about. I've never won anything. And I, I but I don't even eat jelly beans. a jelly bean counting so contest I just, over so here. I just shared the them fuck? with all my <laughs> Dude, I won, dude, I won how much? all sorts of stuff. How much was it? The jelly beans? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. Let's you don't remember how many you I guessed? Was, I was in grade school. What'd you get for it? I got the jar of beans and I shared it with the class because I, I don't eat them. got the jar of beans. Yeah, dude, I got the jar of beans. I won. Because uh, you don't eat beans? I won off the radio, dude. I won, I won all sorts radio. of crap. Yeah, dude, I won all sorts of crap off the radio. I won tickets to the premiere of Buffy and the Vampire Slayer movie when I was a kid. Did you and go? I went with somebody. Yeah, I won. A girl, hopefully? No, it was like, it was like. My mom or something. I was like little. Oh, I used to I was little. Yeah, I just I called the radio. Dude, I used to I used to love calling into the radio. When you, I was you, a kid. you 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 f with Buff. You, you fuck with Buffy. You no. like you like. Buffy? I was like a kid, and that it was before the show. So it was the, when no. the movie came out. So how, I was like, oh, a kids movie. How was I, the movie? Did you like it? Sure, it was the best movie ever. <laughs> best. I still have it. I watch it on repeat every day. <laughs> All right, fair uh, enough. But yeah, with Christy, Christy Swanson and Luke Perry, dude. It's a I weird do movie. not do not remember any of it, dude. It's weird. I do not remember any of it. Yeah, dude, it was a weird movie. But uh, yeah, Brett Favre should like you know repay that money. <laughs> I, dude, you're not wrong, man. No, but like you're not even wrong. He should totally. I was just that. thinking about it. I was like, yeah, it's effed up that he did that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's really messed up that he like screwed with like everybody's money. The poor uh, people's money, man. I'm not going to be mad at Brett Favre because he's a conservative, all right? I'm not. I mean, he I'm can not. Do this he is, wants, but it's a, it's uh, a thing of ethics. So. I, I just, a, amen, all right? That's <laughs> what we're getting at. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna turn this into the beat up on conservative podcast. I don't even think that at all. You're the one that talks. But about he is a conservative. Probably. And, and, I mean, he know. has a lot of money, so he wants to keep it. And I do feel like people who consume certain media are gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I heard about that conservative guy. I thought they were supposed to be nice." I, th I thought all them conservatives were kind folks. I thought they all love Jesus. <laughs> Everybody loves. Nope, Jesus. they're all domestic terrorists. Wow. They're not my words, man. <laughs> they're, that's I mean, their words. That's, dude, they're just trying that's to make a words. living like anybody else. They're trying to get out here. <laughs> they're trying to make everyone aware of what's happening in society and that they need to change it today. By any means necessary. By any means necessary. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's fucking crazy. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazydown.com. Subscribe for channels. Do you think? Yep.